And you can see we're on flash. So let's see what's going on. All right, so I'm opening up the cabinet door. I've got a conflict monitor here showing a red fail on phase eight. And you see the arrow there. And I don't see any indications there, so it's not seeing any load on, on that load switch, phase eight. So, in the conflict monitor, or I'm sorry, the controller is in just lockout mode right now. So we're just in flash, but let's see what we can find out. You know what, I just saw something too. I'm gonna put this back in flash and reset the conflict monitor. So phase eight is our side street in both directions, but I just, notice something over here put this back in operation again watch this watch the reds they come on interesting we'll start with the path of least resistance here phase eight is still my problem child here red fail phase eight load switch eight right here, phase eight. I'm gonna swap that out with a known good one. And this particular low switch is kind of neat because, ah, it's good in there. It shows me my ins and my outs. So, now that I got that there, I'm gonna put this back in operation. Let me see what happens here. and reset it then. Getting ready to hit the reset button when it's safe to do so. Okay, I'm watching it. And we're going to do it now. Uh-oh, we're running. Okay, so far so good. As soon as we get a side street here, we'll see what happens. Okay, hopefully this runs. Oh, the greens came up. Okay, we're good. I think we're good now. Going back before, you noticed that we didn't have any reds coming up. Ah, oh, crap. Let's watch this closer again. Okay, so I'm getting the in, which is the actual, the output of the controller. The output of the controller for the yellow is getting in, but it's not recognizing anything on the output. So, we have four yellows at this intersection on the side street. Let's see. Okay, time to bring out the secret weapon here. So what we're gonna do, here is just rule out that we don't have all of our yellow indications out out in the street and to do that we're going to present a load with these test bulbs well my test board panel here okay the red is actually our our neutral for these bulbs here we daisy, daisy chain all the neutrals together off this red we're going to attach that onto the AC neutral bar and there okay okay and then this cable here is for this bolt there we're gonna tap that onto our yellow terminals for phase A okay so that's on there now we're gonna have a load on that terminal so this acts like the actual yellow bulbs out in the street Let's see if we can get this thing to progress. We keep getting stuck on that yellow on phase eight, not coming up. So if this progresses through and this lights up, we know all of our yellows out in the street are out, which is almost a rarity, but it could be, uh, especially if a storm came through and, and this thing took a hit. So let's, uh, let's see how this runs. Okay, so I got this for better viewing here. Here's our load switch green's on here's our output for our yellow 
Yeah. Nothing came out of that. Hmm. All right. So, what that tells me is we're not getting an output from that load switch to there. So it's not in the field. It's actually in this cabinet. So let's keep working. Okay, I keep blowing the output of the phase eight load switch on the yellow. I'll get a output from the controller. The in will light up, but the out is uh, dark. And I should have a basically a mirror of the in and out. It's, it's on flash right now, but anyway, in normal operation, you should have uh, in and out both show up and I keep blowing that output on the yellow so um, I'm just wondering if there's something going on on the back panel which I guess that means I got to drop this thing and see what's going on, on the back side all right so I take a screw or I'm sorry a, a wrench to bolt over here on this side of the panel and same thing on over here on this side of the panel. I loosened them up, so now we're ready to drop this here. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got a little bit of spider web action here, but um, I'm going to go down and, and clean some of this off and just see. Uh, if I got something that's jumping out at me as, as the potential issue. Okay, I got this all cleaned up and I've got my fuse puller here, which is non-conductive. And I'm gonna go ahead and go across here to phase eight, or I'm sorry, the load switch eight position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the one that is causing problems here. I'm just gonna Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, just see if something is shorting out on a terminal. Uh, I'm actually going to get down there a little more and drop this and see if I find something else. Okay. Um, what I did now is I went ahead and cut the zip ties to relax these wires some. The yellow is what we're losing or we're blowing our load switches at. This, this wire right there, this one, that there is what keeps blowing. That feeds down to that last terminal there. And on the flip side, or the front side of this, it actually goes to that last terminal there, and that feeds down, jumpers down to that 8Y. So I'm going to check that, and then we're going to go ahead and replace the low switch since the yellow keeps getting blown, and we'll try this again. All right. Let's try again. All those wires have been relaxed. Phase eight's on. Come on, baby. Nope. Dual indication. There's something going on here because now I've got dual indication. That yellow's getting stuck on. Okay, here's the situation. I've got a storm that's coming up behind me and it's brewing and it's gonna be a big one. Right now, whoops, I just put four over there. <laughs> okay, phase four was not originally used. I just stuck a low switch in there. Okay, anyway, I, I'm gonna remove phase eight and I'm gonna move all the field wires and everything over to phase four, which is right here. And then we're gonna run, cause both side streets were phase eight. We're gonna make both side streets phase four and um, we're gonna get this going off four because I don't have time to drop this back panel and start tracing all these wires. This could go anywhere on the back panel. There's there's definitely a problem with load switch eight. I'm just gonna move it over to four, wire this up and get this thing going. Okay, I got them failed wires moved over to phase four. Um, I have to go up to the controller and reassign overlap D, which is in this signal here, or this 
intersection here, we have to assign it to four and five instead of five and eight. So let's just work our way over there and put a one there and enter that. Five's okay. And we need to zero out the eight because eight's no longer used here. So let's just, uh, I gotta still redo the conflict monitor card. I'm waiting for my um, pen to warm up here so I can solder that and we'll finish that up. Okay, let's get her going, see. Okay, now what? Red fail on eight. Why am I seeing something on eight now? There should be nothing on eight. We're still monitoring, oh yeah. Okay, we gotta fool the conflict monitor. Okay, just to recap, move the field wires over to phase four. Place the load switch into the phase four position. I had to undo the wiring. Um, well, basically I had to fool the conflict monitor because it needs to see a load of some type. So I threw a jumper in there for phase eight since we're no longer using that. And then I did have to do a little wiring on the back panel for the conflict monitor so that uh, it would recognize phase four indications now. So with that, and I made some modifications in the controller and the timing so it would work. We are ready to try to this out and see if it works. And uh, just wait for traffic to clear here and it's safe to do so. One more second. So I have a car coming up here. We're still on flash. You can see that the side street are flashing red now. So, uh, oh yeah, I also had to put a flash transfer relay to recognize the uh, low switch on phase four. Okay, anyway. Uh, okay, we got one more car there. And we are ready to try this out in three, two, one. All right. Okay, here we go. Car pulling over there on side street. Let's just see what happens. Uh, okay, yellows, red, green. Come on. Mother. Okay, hold on. Nope. Hold on, green. Okay, you guys still hanging around. That's good. You're getting extended education today. So you just saw how I could rewire a cabinet for a different phasing. So, yellow still is my problem. And when the yellow indication came up, that low switch four started smoking. So the yellow, when I kept thinking that was not my problem, it actually is something that is out in the street, back feeding and causing all this to go haywire. So what I have to start doing now is figure out out of these bundle of four wires, which ones are causing my issue? My fluke meter out. And I've got one of the terminals over on the AC neutral. And I'm just gonna tap, let's see if we get a little closer here. I'm just gonna tap these wires here. There's a, this, <clears throat> this here is the yellow indications for side street. There is a wire per head. I'm gonna test this one first. It doesn't seem like I see anything there back feeding. Ooh, we're getting something there. Hmm, we're getting something on that one. Oh man, we're getting something on that one. This here is the lone one where I see nothing. All right, let's keep going. Okay, after it was all said and done, every one of those yellow wires, three of them were back feeding. I tried the fourth one just by itself and it still blew the load switch. I went ahead and disconnected all these yellow wires now for those side streets and I just hooked up the bulb. 
So right now we've got all the red indications, all the green indications, and the yellow indication going to the bulb. And with that in place, and I put the signal back in operation, it ran about four cycles now, and we're still, we're still running. Now, with our situation here, how we have things set up, the agency is responsible for all the maintenance here, so they get to be the ones to go out and do the work. So I'm getting a back feed, the problem on all four of those yellow wires. So really what they'll probably have to do is pull all new cable into this because this stuff is so old, it's cracking all over the place. And I'm sure under the ground, it's, it's, uh, it's the same way. So um, for safety reasons, we'll put this signal back on flash, but it's been running fine. And you can see here, the greens come up, the yellow will come up here which is not out there, and then the red. But it's running, that tells us the problems in the field, and I'll let the agency know that they need to take care of it. But for now, we'll put this thing on flash. Mm, maybe the title of this video should have been how not to troubleshoot a traffic signal. I made a few costly errors there, mainly when I hooked up the test board to the yellow field terminal. I should have disconnected the field wires from there and isolated the problem you know, whether it being in the cabinet or in the field, but I, you know, that I messed up. It was, it was costly time-wise more than anything. You know, I had that storm brewing behind me, got me a little anxious and I totally screwed up that step in, in, in the troubleshooting process. So, um, you know, that's, so that's why I keep the video rolling because you see the problems that I did there, you know, cost me some time there. So hopefully that will save you some time when you're out in the field, possibly in the same scenario. So I hope you took something away from that video there. Uh, if you got any content creation ideas, go ahead and leave them below in the comments. Um, you guys are driving the content creation here. Leave a comment. I'll be happy to make up a video of something that you want to learn. You know, I'm here to help the traffic signal maintainer maintain the traffic signals. See you next time.